Bakunin Observance Week here at Corvus Belly, and we have some epic boxes to give away. Drop your comments using the hashtag InfinityBakunin and retweet, interact, and subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook for your chance to win a copy of this new Infinity Action Pack. Good luck and keep connected. Hello, and welcome to this battle report video featuring the new Bakunin Action Pack by Corvus Belli. The action takes place in an undisclosed area of Praxis inside the Bakunin Mothership, and it's here, in the dark religious environment where the Observance Cyber Witches like to operate, where we are going to play the mission Unmasking from the current ITS files. Every army will deploy three high-value targets, one of those is the designated target. In order to identify that designated target, the specialist units must interact with the consoles placed on the central line of the table. The main objective is to eliminate the enemy designated target while preventing yours from suffering any damage until the end of the game. The Nomad's HVTs are deployed here, here, and here. And the pan Oceanian HVTs are deployed here, here, and here, we are going to witness a 300 point battle, a skirmish using the new Bakunin action pack against the noble military orders from Pan-Oceania. Let's check out their units and deployment. The Bakunian Jurisdictional Command will have the first active turn and is comprised of a Reverend Custodier Lieutenant with Hacking Device Plus deployed here, one Sin Eater Observant with Multi Sniper Rifle, one Orphan of the Observance with SMG, one Penitent Observant with Red Fury, and Mother Healer Agatha Wabara in a Hari's Fire Team next to them. We also have two Reverend Moiras with HMG and Multi Sniper Rifle here and here. Two Reverend Cenobites with Chain Rifle and a Heavy Rocket Launcher here next to them. And a Reverend Healer with Boarding Shotgun in a Core Fire Team with her sister. The Military Orders Army is deployed now, and it's composed of a Knight Commander Lieutenant that is deployed here. In his zone of control, a Knight of Justice with Spitfire is deployed here. A Teutonic Knight Specialist Operative rounding out the fire team next to him. Kyle Hawkins is deployed on this structure here. A Teutonic Knight with Spitfire on this terrace here. And another Teutonic Knight with a missile launcher with the fire team Hari's marker next to them a Trinitarian with multi-sniper rifle in hidden deployment on top of this tower. Another Trinitarian in hidden deployment with SMG close to the console here. One last Trinitarian in hidden deployment with boarding shotgun here. Finally, Indigo Brother Constantinos is deployed next to this pillar here. The battlefield is set, the units deployed, and the objectives are clear. The battle begins now. The Nomads begin with 10 regular orders and one lieutenant order. The Fireteam Corps, composed of Reverend Moiras, Reverend Cenobites, and a Reverend Healer, advances now with the Moira with HMG as team leader. The enemy Knight of Justice has line of fire against them and declares a reaction burst. It's the collision between a Hari's Knight fire team against a core Reverend fire team. The Moira has a burst of 5 with an additional plus 3 to her ballistic skill, while the Knight of Justice has a burst of 2. The Knight also suffers a negative 6 to his ballistic skill due to the mimetism skill of the Moira. Dice are rolled. The Knight suffers 2 impacts. He must perform 2 saving rolls. The Knight survives and maintains his position. The fire team decides to advance and concentrate on the Knight. A movement skill is executed and another face-to-face -face roll happens. Dice are rolled. The Reverend Moira receives an impact. She must perform a saving roll. The Reverend Moira falls unconscious. The fire team is not broken due to the number two skill that the other Moira has. The Hari's fire team, composed of the penitent observant, Agatha Wabara, and one orphan of the observance, decides to advance now. Right down this lane, they are facing a very menacing Teutonic Knight with a missile launcher and another knight with a Spitfire. An intense face-to-face -face roll must happen. The Teutonic Knight with missile launcher receives an impact. The Penitent Observant also suffers a Spitfire impact. Saving rolls must be made. The Teutonic Knight suffers one wound, but he keeps his position due to his solid religious values. The Penitent Observant's armor value prevails over the Spitfire impact. The Observance Harris Fire Team decides to reach an advanced position. 
The penitent loses partial cover. Now, it's time for a shootout. Dice are rolled. A missile impacts on the penitent. Its blast template also affects the orphan and the reverend behind her. Plenty of saving rolls must be made. The penitent observant suffers one wound. The orphan dies. Agatha Wabara survives and rolls willpower to take cover on this corner. The Teutonic Knight with Spitfire survives the Red Fury impacts and maintains position. The Observance is having a hard time against the military orders. Spending the Lieutenant Order, the Reverend Moira NCO with Sniper Rifle moves and obtains Line of Fire to the Knight of Justice. The Knight declares Shoot as his ARO. And here comes a new face-to-face -face roll, but now the range of the weapons would be significantly different. Dice are rolled. The Knight must perform many saving rolls. The final outcome? The knight suffers one wound and he rolls for whip in order to lose line of fire and avoid any further damage. Spending a new regular order, the reverend healer advances towards the unconscious Moira and uses her doctor skill. She makes a whip roll and it is a success. The Moira with HMG is back. The fire team is rebuilt to five members. A new regular order is spent and the fire team advances towards the enemy. A new threat pops out. Leaving its thermo-optical cloak, a Trinitarian tertiary with multi-sniper rifle targets a Reverend Cenobite with his ARO. The whole fire team declares dodge. A face-to-face -face roll is made. The Cenobite suffers an impact. She must perform two saving rolls. She succeeds thanks to her armor value of three. A new regular order is spent on the fire team and now the Cenobite is the leader. It moves once again and the odds are even. A new face-to-face -face roll happens. The Trinitarian is hit and he is no longer with us. A new regular order is spent on the fire team. This new movement allows the Reverend Healer to reach the console. She can interact with it. Dice are rolled and questions are asked. Is this HVT the designated target? The answer is no. No, he's not. A regular order is spent. Now, the dramatic confrontation between the Penitent Observant and the Teutonic Knights continues. The movement allows the Penitent to reach this position next to Robin Hook. A face-to-face -face confrontation happens. Dice are rolled. Both Knights must make saving throws. The NCO survives and rolls to get into this prone state. The missile launcher is down. With the last regular order, Agatha Wabara covers Robin Hook's flank. Once all the orders have been spent, the first turn for the Nomads ends. The first turn for Pan Oceania begins, and they have six regular orders, two impetuous orders, two lieutenant orders, and two hidden deployment units. Spending his impetuous order, the Teutonic Knight with Spitfire descends from the building in a menacing move towards his enemies. The Penitent Observant reacts to this, shooting her red fury. Dice are rolled. The Teutonic Knight receives an impact, so he must make a saving roll. He succeeds and holds his position. Spending his own regular order, the Trinitarian Tertiary with boarding shotgun advances toward the Reverend's fire team. Spending a regular order, the Trinitarian moves up to this spot. The Trinitarian proceeds to use its boarding shotgun as a blast template surprise attack. The fire team declares shoot at the infiltrator. Saving rolls are required. The final outcome is negative for the Nomads. Both the Moira with sniper rifle and the Reverend Healer are down. The Trinitarian is also defeated by the reaction responses. A regular order is now spent on Indigo Brother Constantinos. He moves, and moves again, towards the console in the middle of the battlefield. Constantinos is activated again so that he can move and reach the console. He must now perform a willpower roll so he can find out who the designated target is. Dice are rolled and questions are asked. Is Robin Hook the designated target? The answer is... Yes, she is. The Nomad HVT has been unmasked. A new regular order is spent and now Constantinos moves towards Robin Hook, but Mother Agatha Wabara is on the way. Both dire foes engage in close combat. The Nun has martial arts level two, so that means she has a plus three to her CC attribute and the Knight suffers a minus three. Dice are rolled. Constantinos lands a blow on Agatha. She must now perform a saving roll. She succeeds. Agatha remains undefeated. A new regular order is spent. 
The Knight of Justice, now as fire team leader, moves up to this spot, seeking a new line of fire against the Reverends. But he finds himself facing both the Moira and the Sin Eater Observant far away from the Spitfire's optimal range. Shooting AROs are declared, and the Knight must outperform his enemies. Both should make saving rolls. Both units succeed at their rolls and maintain position. A regular order is spent. The Knight of Justice behaves bravely and persists in this complex scenario. He idles, waits for the AROs, and concentrates his whole burst now on the Moira. Dice are rolled. The Moira receives two hits, and the Knight also suffers multiple impacts from the Sin Eater. Both make saving rolls. The Knight of Justice is down, and the fire team is broken. The Reverend Moira with HMG is also down, and her fire team is also broken. The Teutonic Knight NCO, spending one of the Lieutenant Orders, moves forward on the battlefield toward the designated target. But the Penitent Observant is still in his way. They both exchange fire. Dice are rolled. The Knight suffers one impact. A saving roll must be made. His roll succeeds and he stands his ground. Spending the last Lieutenant Order, the Knight chooses to move and lose line of fire with the Observant while delivering his last Spitfire Burst. The Penitent Observant suffers one impact. A saving roll must be made. She succeeds and also stands her ground. With all their orders spent, the Pan Oceania first turn ends and the first round of the game is over. The second turn begins for the Bakunin Observance units and they have an order pool composed of two Impetuous Orders, six Regular Orders, and one Lieutenant Order. The Cenobite with Chain Rifle spends her Impetuous Order to run towards the enemy deployment zone. No AROs are declared against her. The Cenobite with Heavy Rocket Launcher cancels her Impetuous Order. Spending a Regular Order, Mother Agatha Wabara activates and declares a close combat attack on her foe. Indigo Brother Constantinos. Dice are rolled. Wabara lands a demolishing hammer hit on Constantinos. He must now perform a saving roll. The die is rolled, and Constantinos is off the board. Spending her lieutenant order, the Reverend Custodier descends from the building. She moves and ends at this spot. A regular order is spent. Mother Agatha moves and reaches this console. An unexpected ARO is declared. Popping out of thermo-optic camouflage, a Trinitarian tertiary with a submachine gun shoots at the nun. Agatha decides to interact with the console instead of exchanging enemy fire. Lady of the Knife, give me strength. Dice are rolled and questions are asked. Is the military order's Grand Master the designated target? The answer is yes. Yes, she is. The Trinitarian rolls for a hit. He succeeds. Mother Agatha receives an SMG impact and must perform a saving roll. She suffers one wound, but the dogged skill means she is still standing. Now, thanks to Mother Agatha's selfless efforts, the Reverend Cenobite with Chain Rifle has verified that the Grandmaster is indeed the designated target. She spends a regular order and advances towards the objective, moves, and obtains line of fire against the Grandmaster. The hostile Civi declares Dodge as her ARO. An increased chain rifle burst is unleashed against her. Dice are rolled. The Grandmaster suffers two impacts. She must now perform two saving rolls. The military order's designated target is down. With her last breath, Mother Agatha spends a regular order and charges towards the Trinitarian. She moves, and the Pano Skirmisher doesn't hesitate to shoot with her submachine gun. Dice are rolled. Mother Agatha suffers another impact. She rolls to save. The heroic warrior nun succumbs to her wounds. With the last regular order, the Reverend Custodier advances towards the objective room and finds an interesting spot for her hacking device range. Once all the order pool for the nomads is consumed, it's time for an active pano turn. The military orders have five regular orders, one impetuous order, and two lieutenant orders at their disposal. Spending its impetuous order, the Teutonic Knight with Spitfire throws himself into a heroic charge against the Penitent Observant. Shots are fired. The Teuton receives an impact from the Red Fury. The Knight checks the saving roll. It's down. The Trinitarian can't stand this anymore. She spends a regular order and moves. She obtains line of fire with the Penitent. 
and then hides behind the corner. A shootout happens. The penitent receives a submachine gun impact. The saving roll determines that the solid armor plates of the observant resist the impact. Now that there is no line of fire with any enemy, the Trinitarian spends a regular order to activate her thermo-optical camouflage and become an almost unnoticeable presence. With the spending of a new regular order, the Trinitarian moves in front of the penitent. The penitent declares a discover roll. Something is there, but they cannot see it. Now the Trinitarian moves again, but this time she has exposed herself to a new line of fire. The Reverend Custodier declares another discover roll. The Nomad Lieutenant succeeds. The Trinitarian has been revealed. A new regular order is spent on the Trinitarian. She wants to obtain line of fire against Robin Hook and eliminate her, but the Reverend Custodier is in her path. She performs a new movement skill. The Custodier reacts by shooting. The Pano unit responds. Shots are fired. The Custodier receives an impact. She checks her armor and survives. With the last regular order, the Trinitarian tries to obtain line of fire to the designated target. A new movement skill is declared, but she comes up short. The Custodier shoots an ARO, and the Trinitarian declares shoot with her second skill. Shots are fired. The Trinitarian suffers a critical hit. Her armor is not enough. She's down. With the order pool spent and an upcoming nomad turn ahead, Kyle Hawkins takes a look at the battlefield, and all he can witness is downfall and defeat. The Knight Commander calls for a tactical retreat. The Observance has won the day. They have proven to be a worthy opponent, and the ground belongs to them. A glorious victory for the Bakunin Jurisdictional Command has been witnessed. Get your copy of the new Bakunin Observance Action Pack now. Jump into the Nomad's train of releases. Exceptional units, defiant designs, and an endless bag of tricks will take your game to a new level. Check out and subscribe to the Corvus Belly YouTube channel for more demo battles. Keep connected!